Hi to all. I want to do Tagalog lesson again. This is the first basic Tagalog lesson we're going to have. Um, we're going to discuss about introducing yourself in Tagalog and some basic greetings. So, how do you say good morning in Tagalog? It is magandang umaga. Umaga is morning, maganda is uh, beautiful, literal translation is beautiful. So, magandang umaga, same as good morning. And if it's afternoon, if it's e after afternoon, is magandang tanghali, tanghali. So that's afternoon, yes. And if it's night, it's gabi. Gabi. So if it's an, if it's at night, so magandang gabi. You just change the the um, time. If it's morning, afternoon, or evening, so it's all the same. Magandang. You start with magandang, means good or beautiful morning, beautiful good afternoon, good evening. So magandang umaga. Magandang tanghali and magandang gabi. There's another more is um, magandang hapon. Go after midday. Yeah. So, so like it's after lunch. Tanghali is like lunch time. And then after lunch or after, after 1 p.m. So it's magandang hapon. From 1 to 5, 5 p.m. So, it's magandang hapon. If it's like lunchtime, 12 to 1, is magandang tanghali. Okay? And how about saying, um, what's your name? What is your name in Tagalog? If you want to know someone's name, so you ask them, Anong pangalan mo? Anong pangalan mo? So you hear the ng ng sound. So that is what is your name in Tagalog. How about if you want to say your name? Before in the old days we say ang pangalan ko ay my name is it's the same as my name is ang pangalan ko ay but or you could also just say ako si ya e in Danish, or I am, then your name. Ako si, then that's it. Um, how about, how are you in, in uh, Tagalog? That is, kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? That's from the Spanish word, como esta? In Tagalog, we say, kamusta ka? Kamusta? How are you? Kamusta ka? Ka is like you. And how about if you say, I'm glad to meet you, or I'm happy to meet you. You say, kinagagalak ko kayong makilala, or kinagagalak kitang makilala. Just say kitang, because the kinagagalak ko kayong makilala is a very formal and also, it's you use it either for formal, formal person like a president or someone who's you know like a um, government officer or or yeah some old people. It's for it's an old old way of saying it. But you could just say kinagagalak kitang makilala. It's more of informal way of saying I'm happy. I'm glad to meet you. Okay. And how you say I'm fine or fine, you say mabuti. Or if you want to be polite, you say mabuti po. But the po and opo, we normally use it for um, to show politeness. It's a very, it's only, I think it's only in the Philippines we use that. I don't know how to translate it directly in English. I don't think there is a translation for it, but it's a polite way. In the Philippines, we use the po um, in in our sentence to show that we respect the person we're talking to. 
uh, we are mostly learn we learn it we learn to use it when we talk to elder people or those teachers those professionals or whoever older than us we use po and then we answer when we answer we also say opo it's also a light a very polite way of responding so it shows that you respect the person you're talking to how to say thank you in tagalog it is salamat salamat so let's do the recap of all the tagalog sentence you've learned you could repeat it again and again so you could um, remember it so to say greetings magandang umaga example it's morning ako si my name is or i am um kamusta ka how are you and kinagagalak kitang makilala i'm glad to meet you um fine mabuti i'm fine mabuti ako or mabuti po uh, and thank you is salamat so salamat for watching this video i hope you remember to subscribe to hear more i will try to download download more videos every week so it's either tagalog or danish or something else so bye